So we know that floating point values are printed using uh, uh, a different format specifier. LF is for double. If it's a float, it's percent F. Okay. So I have a double value over there, one, two, three point four five six, and I'm printing that double double value. I'm going to say value is percent LF, and I'm printing it. Very simple and straightforward. Doing that printout, I will see that the output will be this. So as you see, it's, it, it is printing 1, 2, 3.456, then 0, 0, 0. It puts six things after that, OK? Six digits after the decimal point. You can control that. Because that's the precision of what you want to see. If you want to deal with, say, money, you need only two digits, right, for cents. You don't want six digits to come after that. You can always control that, OK? So only for double values, not for integers, because integers, they don't have any numbers after the decimal point. There is no decimal point, so it doesn't make sense for them. But for these, if you want to, so let me just give you a, an example for float 2. So I'm going to have float um, val 2 or f val, and I'm going to put over there uh, 4, 5, 6, uh, or 1.234, OK? So, and I'm going to print the float value. So, so that's the double value. So double value is that one, and float value is f, not lf. So I'm going to put f val. So when I print this, this is going to be the output. Are we OK with this? All right? Now, if I want to limit the number of things, number of uh, digits that are printed after the decimal point, remember that I told you double values are not precise? Just take a look at the actual value inside the variable. You see that? 1.2456, and look at the 31 at the end. OK, why? Because the sky is high. That's how it happens. Remember, double values are not precise. They are approximate values, very precise but not precise enough. So you, cannot ne you can never check two double values for equality and make sure that they're OK. Your calculation may end up having two double values as equal values, like 2.5. But when you are comparing, the comparison will fail, because one is 2.4999999, and the other one is 2. Point, I don't know, uh, 5000001. With, from computer's perspective, they are not equal, but for, for us it is. So for equality, you have to always do some tricks that we'll learn later. Anyways, so if I want only two digits to get printed, what do I do? I put point 0.2. It means two digits after the decimal point only, right before the format specifier, after the percent sign. In here, if I want only one, I put point 0.1, which means when I print these two values, this is going to be the outcome. Now, I want to attract your attention to the first value. It was 123.456, correct? So what did it do? It round up because the next one is 6. If the next one was 2, so let's do that. I'm going to put over here uh, 1, 2, 3, OK? So if I print, so I'm going to print it in two different ways. One with three digits and the other one with two digits. And if I do the printout, you will see that this one is rounded. The five is rounded because the next one is six, is higher than five. And the other one is rounded down, which means the next one is one. So when it's, you're, you're printing the third one, it's not going to go seven. It's going to remain six. And the same thing for the float value. Two remains two. It's not going to change. Are we OK with this? That's how you limit. So if in, your, if in your workshop you want to print two digits, that's what you do. After the percent, you put 0.2, and then the format specifier, either double or float, whatever the workshop is asking you to do so. The next thing I wanted to tell you, how to temporarily change values. Now, I want to show you one more thing. I'm going, to sh I'm going to add another float value over here, fval2, 
And this one, <coughs> I'm going to put 199. OK? When I print the second float value, So second float value is, in here I'm going to put 0, 0.0, which means I do not want any partials to get printed. Okay? If I do that, obviously, what's going to be the output? What's going to be the output? It's going to be 2. So when I print that one, the output of the other one is 2, right? Are we okay with this? Now. <clears throat> Sometimes you just want to cut the partial value. Okay? You just want to cut the partial value no matter what it is. You don't want to round it. It doesn't matter. So if it's 1.2345, you want to show 1. If it's 1.99, you want to show 1. Which means essentially you want to convert a floating point variable into an integer. If you want to do that, that's what we call casting. Casting can be done in two different ways. Force compiler to do the casting for us, or we do the manual casting. To do force, forced casting, we have to have an extra variable. So I'm going to write over here int. I'm going to call it casted, or my casted value. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Anyways, OK? Now I'm going to set this my casted value to f val 2. So what's going to happen over here? My casted value will try to get 1.99, but because it's an integer, it's only capable of to get the whole part of the number, not the partial. Therefore, it's going to fall off. So <clears throat> if I print my casted value, My casted value, sure. My forced casted value. In here, I'm going to put percent %d, and I'm going to put my casted value. So what's going to get printed is going to be this. All right? Now, if you want to do it temporarily, Without any, without any secondary value, what you do, let's say I want to cast this double, OK? Printf casted double. And I'm going to put double value. And I'm going to put percent %d in here and go to new line. Now the value I have is called val, correct? What you do, you tell the compiler, hey, temporarily look at this as an integer. And you put a type in parentheses in front of it. So you are essentially telling to the compiler, you're essentially telling to the compiler, if you want to, if you want to, uh, you're uh, telling to the compiler to temporarily put the value in an in integer way and then print it, which means all the partial is going to fall off with no secondary thing to use. So cast can happen automatically when you put one thing into another. So you can put an integer into a double. Of course, if it's 1, it becomes 1.000, right? Or 1.0, right? If you do it the other way, you're going to lose value. So you can always, should always remember, any time you put any integer, any double value into an integer, there may be loss of data. Always. Because you use partial values, right? Uh, another thing, remember, any time you have two integer values, two values being uh, in an expression, A plus B. OK? Always there is the type of the result is the type of the bigger one or type of the float one, which means if you have an int and a long, the result is long. If you have a character and a short, the result is short. 
If you have a short and a long, the result is long. When the expression happens between a floating point and an integer, the result is always floating point. So a long and a float, it's float. A long, long and a float is float. An integer and a double is double. A character and a long double, it's long double. Always. Remember that. Okay? This is something that you need to remember, which means if I print f val 2 plus my casted value, the result will be, and I'm going to put percent %lf, in here I'm going to say my casted value plus Actually, let's put f val 2. Yes, yeah, uh, I'm going to put val. So val plus f casted, uh, my casted value, and I'm going to put over here val. The result, my casted value was 1, right? So it's got to be 1 plus 1. So it's got to be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4 point whatever. So when you look at the result, the result will be, oh, let me go to new line. I forgot to go to new line. That looks ugly. And I have a space over here. Yeah, uh, abort, abort, abort. What did I do wrong? Oh, percent LN. <laughs> That's wrong. Percent LF and backslash N. Okay, let's run it one more time. There you go. So as you see, it actually adds one to it. So, and the result is not an integer. The result is a double. Okay? Now, if you wanted only the if you wanted only the integer part of the val to get added to it, then you have to write int. If you do that and you print this, oh, and this becomes percent %d. The result will be only 124. Okay? And again, this was casting and printing. And that's it. Now you can continue with your workshop. And I'll come for any help that you want. Questions? No?